Hi, welcome to this short tutorial which aims to demonstrate to you how to submit an Atlas card to the Southern African Bird Atlas project using the Bird Lasso mobile app on an Android based phone. Before you submit an Atlas card, please make sure that you understand the Atlas protocol and that you have registered for a project on the SAWAP2 website. Please note, I assume that you have installed the BirdLasser app and that you know the basic functions such as how to lock a bird sighting. So let's begin by opening the BirdLasser app and please make sure that you are on the trip card screen. The first step is to enter your Atlas details, that is your observant number and name and at the settings menu. Click on the main menu top left of the screen. Select settings and then atlasing. Enter your observer name by clicking on observer name. I've already, already entered my details. Observer number. Also ensure that atlasing mode is on. This will ensure that every Atlas card which you create will already be in Atlas mode by default. No need to set it each time you create an Atlas card. You can now exit the settings screen and return to the trip card screen. The next step is to create the trip card. Click on the plus sign bottom right of the screen to create the card. I'm going to call my card Atlas Tutorial. You can name it anything you want. You will notice Atlasing mode is on. As we have set this as a default and the settings. Click on the tick mark top right to create the card. To go to map view, click on the map icon at the top right of the screen. As we are in atlasing mode, you can see the pen tab boundaries in red. The blue dot shows your location in relation to the pen tab boundary. If you click on the pen tab, a call out box will display showing the pen tab number. In this case 2540-2815. It will only display for a short period of time. At the bottom of the screen the amount of time you have spent in the pentad as well as the sunrise and sunset times are displayed. Now let's lock the first bird. Let's say the first bird we see is a laughing dove. The second is a dark cap bubble. Then a cape wagtail. And then two more deaths. Cape turtle. And a red eye deaf. So we have now locked five birds within the pentad. If you now click on the pentad, it will show the pentad name, number of species seen, as well as the time spent in the pentad. This is an easy way to check how much time you are spent in the pentad, especially when you do more than one pentad at a time. Click on the list icon on the top right of the screen to enter list view. You will now see the pentad number. If you select the little drop down icon on the left of the pentad number, the species list will appear. The species will be listed in the order you have seen them as required by the Atlas protocol. 
you will also be able to see the amount of time spent in the pentad as well as the number of species seen. Let's knock lock another bird, grey go away bird. You will note it is added to the top of the list. Let's add a species we have already seen, dark cat bobo. You will note it is added to the list but without a number next to it. The Atlas Pro Protocol states that you should only record the first occurrence of a species on one Atlas card. As you have already locked a dark cat bulbul, the species is recorded on the trip card, but not for the Atlas card. Please note that as you move between pentads, the app will stop the time and species list in the pentad you are leaving and begin the time and species list in the new pentad. This is a great feature of the Birdless app and will greatly assist you to keep track of your species seen as well as the time spent within each pentad. You can also park a trip card which will stop the time and disable the lock button. This is a valuable function when you for example stop for breakfast or overnight at a lodge and therefore not actively birding. We can now continue to lock species till we have completed the two hours needed to submit a full protocol atlas card. As I have only birded for a short period of time, we can only submit this card as an ad hoc atlas card. To submit your atlas card, click on the three red dots to the right of the pentad number. Select Submit to Bird Map. Please note you need internet access to submit an Atlas card. On the next screen you will see the pentad number, start and end date of your list, start time, as well as the observer number and name. All this information is automatically added by the app based on the requirements of the Atlas protocol. As we have not Atlas for two hours we need to select the ad hoc protocol option. Please always check that you have selected the correct option before submitting your card. It is your responsibility to ensure that the data that you submit are accurate. Swipe right to see the species list. The screen will show you the list of species seen per hour. As you have only birded for a few minutes, all our species are listed within the first hour. If you are birded for a number of hours, the species will be allocated to each hour. Note that you can move the hour bar up and down like this. The app will keep track of the time you spent in the penta the best it can, but if for some reason the species per hour allocation is incorrect, you can make the necessary changes by moving the bar up and down. After you've made hundred percent sure that you have selected all the correct options, click on the tick mark at the top right and your list will be submitted to Sabatui. If you go to list view, you will note that the app now tells you that the card has been submitted. After a few minutes, you should receive an email notification of your submission and out of record forms, if any. You can also check your submission on the SABAP2 website. Now return to the trip card and if you atlas another pentad, follow the same process to submit your atlas card. If you have any questions, you are more than welcome to contact us for further information. You can contact me directly at arens.retief at birdlife.org.za or the Birdlasser team at support at birdlasser.com. Happy Atlasing!